Jefferson County now tonight. Investigators hoping to talk to any witnesses who may have seen a man who fired a gun this morning caused a lot of concern with schools going on lockout. It started near Ken Carroll Avenue and C-470 about 6.30 this morning. That's when police started getting calls about gunshots ringing out. Our Melissa Garcia covering the story for us tonight. Melissa, with all that's been going on lately, no wonder that people are pretty nervous. Oh, yeah, Karen. Now, people here in this shopping center were on lockdown, some of them for hours this morning. We spoke with one who said it was pretty terrifying inside of a restaurant. You can see there's a Safeway right here and a bunch of other um, businesses in the strip mall. And <clears throat> excuse me, that included some not only who were shopping, but others getting their morning coffee or breakfast at nearby businesses. Uh, a resident captured this cell phone video where witnesses heard dozens of gunshots. This is the view from an apartment complex just south of Safeway. Shots went off, witnesses say, for several minutes, triggering a large-scale response by the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. And in abundance of caution, a Jefferson County school spokesperson says a total of 29 schools went on lockout. Schools where students and staff had already arrived were not allowed to leave. Well, for area schools where class had not yet started, the district told parents and kids not to come until authorities lifted the code red. That alert went out to every one within a quarter mile radius of where bullets rang out. Again, that was about 6.30 a.m. when this all started. Residents had to shelter down for most of the morning. We spoke with some students late this afternoon affected by the lockouts. It was kind of scary, real scary. You know, you see on the news and it's somewhere in like Florida or, you know, somewhere on the other side of the country. But when you see it's at your Safeway that's half a mile away from you, you it's more personal. It felt, I don't know, kind of normal, almost like it's used to in this this day and age, there's so many like shootings and stuff like that. It's just so it sort of saturated down and we're used to it now. No injuries were reported. Now, deputies say it is still unclear who fired the shots and why. And as they continue their investigation, they're asking any witnesses who may have heard or seen the shots to come forward with any new information. We're live in Jefferson County. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Thank you, Melissa.